welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i am guiding you practically for steel structure design of rcc footing with sections construction nodes and lintel uh, and uh, hidden beam with floor beam steel reinforcement details so guys this is the topic for today if you are new on this channel so you may like this video and subscribe the channel if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free guys here i designed this house uh, this uh, uh, steel structure design for g plus one story for g plus one story what should be the size of rcc footing okay so here guys uh, the size of the footing is 110 centimeter by 110 centimeter this is the size of footing inside this the size of column is 225 or you can say 9 by 12 inches this is the size of column or you can say 22 centimeter by 30 centimeter this is size of the column guys you can see this is footing plan now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement because this is the uh, from the top view of uh, this footing so this is called planing so this is plan so we used here 12 millimeter die of steel bars at the rate 15 centimeter center to center it means here spacing is 15 centimeter and the side is also 15 by 15 centimeter or you can say 6 by 6 inches the spacing between main bars and distribution bars the next one guys if you see this is the section so what is the depth of the footing the depth of the footing is for g plus one that is 100 centimeter or you can say one meter this is depth of the footing for g plus one because i did already uh, this project so therefore i'm showing you from my personal experience all this stuff okay so here guys concrete cover is for all side which is eight centimeter clear cover or concrete cover for all side left right bottom top and we have pcc which is lean concrete with the thickness of three inches or eight centimeter pcc uh, we are doing at one two four that's why because the bearing capacity was very low so therefore i did by myself one two four not one four eight or one three six this is its section okay now guys here uh, the hooks length uh, we have here because this is the column the hooks length is 15 centimeter or six inches you can say and the uh, sorry hooks length is here especially the hooks these hooks guys you can see the hooks length is 15 centimeter and the leg length for the column is 30 centimeter or 12 inches guys you can see this is leg length now let me show you the uh, this is the depth if you see the bed depth is 30 centimeter or 12 inches and you can see the steel reinforcement we provided here single mesh not double mesh this is g plus one story and you can see its details 12 millimeter die of steel bars with the spacing of 15 centimeter center to center guys you can see this is center line from here to the center line of this okay and you can also say x axis in y axis you can make it by yourself okay the next one guys you can see we don't have the upper portion all only we have the bottom portion steel reinforcement okay singly mesh that's very important that's why because this is for g plus one now let me guide you for the construction nodes this is also very helpful for you people if you are working on construction side of if you want to build your house so these nodes are very helpful for you people the first one we are using here m20 grade concrete which ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 for all structure if there is foundation beam column slab etc the next one guys don't use lapping length less than 100 centimeter or 1 meter if you need to provide lapping so the lapping should not be less than 60 d where d is die of steel rod if that is 12 millimeter or 16 millimeter it's depend on the steel structure uh, details okay next guys leg length and column should not be less than 30 centimeter as i already discussed here this is leg length so this leg length we did here 30 centimeter so this is in notes the other one is guys in beam and column hooks should be bent with 135 degree so let me show you here so this is guys that is the section uh, which i'm discussing here next guys you can see here hooks length should not be less than three uh, three inches or eight centimeter if you see guys here this length should not be less than eight centimeter the next one guys you can see here lean concrete at the bottom of the foundation ratio should be one three six 
okay which is m10 grade of concrete thickness of the slab should be 15 centimeter as you can see here i have thickness of the slab 15 centimeter okay the next one guys you can see here lateral ties and stirrups diameter should be 8 millimeter with 15 centimeter center to center this is the spacing of uh, lateral ties are stirrups and beam and ties and column okay so these are construction notes which is very helpful helpful for you people now let me guide you for head and beam so here in the project i did 10 centimeter depth of the uh, you can say uh, depth of the uh, head and beam and width is 12 inches or you can say 30 centimeter I used by myself six numbers of steel rods that I is 16 millimeter that's why because uh, the TV lounge was our living room was more than 28 feet so therefore I did by myself this structure design the next one guys you can see floor beam so here the depth of the floor beam is 30 centimeter and width is 22 centimeter or you can say 9 inches by 12 inches and with the thickness of the uh, slab this is 45 centimeter or you can say 0 0.45 meter okay guys you can see clearly or you can say 80 18 inches okay so these are the details next guys you can see we have three numbers of bars at the bottom dia is 12 millimeter and two numbers of bars dia is 12 millimeter we have totally five numbers of steel rods and you can see guys the lateral ties uh, sorry stirrups the dia is 8 millimeter with the spacing of 15 centimeter guys this is head and beam floor beam section in its size size of head and beam these are the notes eight notes but very important for you people next guys you can see this is size of footing inside column this is its section single mesh at the bottom size you can see concrete cover because this is footing section on the top view you can see these are the steel reinforcement details on the other side we can see in the planing here next guys the depth is 100 centimeter to the ground level on the top of this we are providing dpc damp proof course on the top of damp proof course if you need the plinth beam you can also provide because uh, it's depend on the structural design and you can see the location and also the plinth level etc then you can uh, uh, take decision that what is better for you so guys this is very interesting video for you people to know the size of column beam uh, the the footing inside steel reinforcement so if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is steel structure design and i already did a lot of planning and you can see uh, in the playlist of my youtube channel so there is a lot of uh, house planning for different sizes different plot sizes and different luxury design so hope this short video can help you to know about steel structure design Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.